there's about 130 rock art sites in the North Island. Uh, they're spread around the country, but the vast majority of them are in the central plateau, the, the uh, Rotorua, uh, wa lower wa upper Waikato and um, Taupo area. The, what we find in the North Island are a lot of red canoes. Uh, this is one of the publicly accessible sites uh, down at Tarawera, and you can just walk along the lakefront. This particular site was actually buried under volcanic deposit and excavated, but yet the red ochre paintings have survived. Now there's a canoe, as it appears, and there's it enhanced. And what you'll see is the prow of the canoe at the far end, the little people standing up in it, uh, probably a chief standing up in the middle of the canoe, the stern post and the paddle coming down the back. But one of the things with that canoe there it is there, it's about a metre long. We see it in a, in a shelter with a whole lot of other red dots, a little human clicky figure, a stick figure up at the top there. But we see a lot of these red dots. Now these red dots we find all over the central North Island. Sometimes they're with other figures, sometimes they're in patterns, sometimes they appear to be random uh, and just on their own. But what they are is very carefully placed little ochre markings of some significance. Um, the, uh, you can see um, two eyes and a mouth, a, a figure of eight mouths uh, typical of Māori carving. And this is it here, circled. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we excavated in front of this carving, and right here we found a, um, obsi an obsidian cobble, a volcanic glass cobble, painted with kōkowai, or red ochre, positioned there as a votive offering. It signifies that that place was of some particular significance and importance. For scale, this is a bluff. <coughs> There's a chap with a, total a, a, a big tripod laser scanner going off. Um, professor's colleague, Jan-Pierre Montel, who has been uh, doing a lot of the work in the South Island for us. Looking at these carvings, you see on the right, um, again, these carved faces and these ones seem to form a bit of a post going up the wall, very similar to what we might expect of a popo in a meeting house. Again, in the Taupo region, this is actually on the shores of Lake Taupo, there's um, a red painted spiral. And uh, that Sorry, that chap there, Perry Fletcher, is responsible for most of the recording of the Central North Island rock art. In the South Island, uh, Ngaitahu for the last 15 years has been surveying all of the rock art that we can find, and these are the major areas where it's uh, located, particularly in the um, North Canter uh, South Canterbury and the North Otago areas. You'll find a lot of it in the limestone. We've got spirally carvings there as well. Uh, we've also got the eagle, um, what we think is the eagle, uh, the formidable animal, the largest eagle ever to live, um, and it's uh, painted in the rock shelters down in South Canterbury. Interestingly, where's the one place a giant eagle can't get you? <laughs> um, we have dogs. Uh, you see the two forelegs, the two back legs, um, the body and the curvy little tail. Again, the bird man, or what we call the bird man, perhaps like the one on Easter Island, tanifa things and um, people on canoes, on a mōkahi, a reed canoe. And then we've got various people. So this is a human figure in profile, called the three-fingered man. Um, this is one in uh, frontal, and this is a very common thing in Māori rock art, and it, we call it the haka stance. It's a standard tiki figure that you see. And if you take the profile ones and put them back to back, this is what you have. Some of them are quite elaborate. This one with uh, the kurus and spirals in it, something in the hand. Um, um, he's unfortunately been nicknamed the Umbrella Man. Uh, <laughs> yet this is... <laughs> the, the, whatever it is he's holding in his hand is undoubtedly of some significance when you look at the care. This figure would be almost life-size. It's, it's a very big tiki figure. This is the only one of its kind ever we've ever found, and if you look, you can see the little tattoo marks. 
which is a, just two lines going like this, uh, very typical of early, well, of the ethnographically recorded rock art and, sorry, not rock art, uh, tattoo and the portraits in the South Island. They vary. So we're going from about 700 years ago when Māori first arrived, right through to contact period. So we see pictures of sailing ships, and along with that we see writing in missionary taught script, but in te reo Māori. And some of those appear to be names, others of them appear to be messages to the people, the old people represented in the sites. Um, we look at superimpositions, and we see that if you look at this one, we have a serpent figure, a tanifa figure, we've got a shark figure, and then we've got another one here. They're, they're differently superimposed. So some of the compositions are actually emerging over time. And uh, from my point of view, they're reflective of how people are engaging with these places over time. A really important one, probably the most famous rock art image you'll ever see, is the tanifa. If, you, if I can quickly guide you through this. You see the eye, the head, there's its beak over there. You've got a, a body coming down the sides of the body, one leg going up to three-fingered hand, another leg, and coming down here, there's another leg, and so on. And it's there on the roof of this shelter. It's a huge big figure. It's, there's actually uh, three or four tanifa painted in this particular shelter. Uh, we have huge conservation issues. Um, but fortunately a lot of it is on private land and does have pro is protected by landowners and farmers. A lot of it's also found on forestry where we do have conservation issues because of shading of the shelters how, and algae growth. Um, but what that means is most of it's actually not very accessible. And to that extent, if you want to look at Māori rock art, the best way to do it is to actually go with somebody who's already been familiar with those sites, who can guide you to different insights and different views. And for that, I would highly recommend uh, the, um, the, Ma the Ngaitahu Māori Rock Art Visitor Centre that's recently opened in Timaru, and you can go on guided tours out to the Tanifa shelter itself. It's the, if you don't have the time to go chopping through gorse and blackberry with machetes, that's the easiest way to see rock art in New Zealand. Kia ora mai koutou. Thank you.